Hey everyone, this is Frank with JD Muscle. Today we're excited to showcase our brand new prototype unequal length headers for the 22 plus Subaru WRX. We're hoping to bring back that iconic Subaru rumble that we've all come to love and see if we can make a bit of power on the dyno. Let's check them out. Hey guys, I'm D-Man Tuning. Uh, this is James with Felix Performance. How you doing? We're here today to uh, product test. We have two headers here from JD Muscle. Uh, one is very equal length, one is somewhat unequal length. Um, so we're gonna throw them on the cars and then we're gonna see the before and after. We've already done a baseline on a couple of the vehicles. We're gonna see if there's any power progression once we install these. Hey everybody, this is James from Felix Performance and today we're gonna be installing the JDM unequal and semi-equal length header. So one thing that we've noticed that's really nice about this header are the flex joints. It's gonna allow ease of installation when you're trying to get it on the manifold bolts. We're pretty excited to see the power gains today. So we have here a JD Muscle, what I'm calling the somewhat unequal length header. Pretty excited to test it. We did some baselines with a couple 22s. Uh, both the 22s behind us both have identical mods. Uh, they're basically an ETS catalog on both the cars. They're both running E50. Uh, so we're going to see if there's gains, where, uh, if there's losses with the true unequal length. And uh, we'll just play it by ear and see how it goes. All right. So we want to go ahead and discuss the header on the FA24. Uh, some of the newer things that they're doing it is a factory twin scroll. Uh, some things to note on the install, since we've already taken this apart, the studs on the manifold or on the turbo itself, two of them actually came out, one of them stayed in. So you're going to have to be careful when you're doing it and have replacement studs available when you go to do the install. Um, one thing that was very nice about it is that compared to the VA chassis, we were able to remove the header without taking the turbo off the vehicle. So that's gonna save a lot of time for you guys at home. On the installation of the header, you're obviously gonna to wanna to replace the gaskets. The OEM gaskets are nice, but they are a little flimsy. So we upgrade to the Grim Speed gaskets that are much thicker um, and allows a better gasket seal. Okay, so when we're doing the installation, upgrading to the Grim Speed hardware with the stainless steel stud, um, it just doesn't have the issues. Whenever you're removing the factory manifolds, a lot of times in the turbos, the studs will actually pull themselves out. So that is really not reusable. So we go ahead and opt for the Grim Speed hardware. All right, so for tools, what I'm gonna recommend is a 3H drive and a quarter inch if you have it. It's gonna make a big difference whether you use electric or hand tools, both are gonna work perfectly fine. Um, you're also going to want to get a 14 millimeter wrench, 10 millimeter gear wrench, flat if possible, to help extract out uh, two bolts that are on the top of the manifold. They're difficult to get to. You should get a panel puller for help pulling the under tray off. I like to use my tried and true 45 degree needle nose uh, when I'm taking off the clips for the O2 sensors. And that's it. Unfortunately, the 401 header design lost a significant amount of bottom end torque while minimally increasing the peak horsepower, so we decided to send it back to the drawing board. We think there's simply too much turbulent exhaust gases to efficiently flow from the manifold compared to the 421 design. That's why we test prototypes. But just in case you were wondering, here's what it sounds like.
All right, so now we have the true unequal length header. Uh, obviously, these are up for a bunch of debate. Uh, bad for your car, not bad for your car, lose mid-range, if and or that. Uh, basically, we have two cars, as I said earlier, identical mods. Now we're gonna bolt this one on my personal car. We're gonna actually see how much is actually gained or it is lost, and we're not gonna sugarcoat anything. We're gonna bolt it on, we're not gonna even change the tune, and we're just gonna see the power difference between this and the OEM header, which is a true equal length and twin scroll. So we'll be going from twin scroll, equal length, to unequal length, single scroll, and uh, we'll give you the real picture. on the JD muscle header. Uh, like all unequal link headers, they do suffer a little bit of loss down low. Uh, like I said, it wasn't as severe on the FA24 with this particular header that we've seen with other brands. Uh, it could be a combination of being uh, the extra displacement through the FA24. Um, could be various reasons, could be the header itself. Uh, we did actually net some gain. Um, Without tuning the car, we netted about six to eight wheel horsepower up top on our uh, test car. Uh, after some careful tuning, we were able to ma massage about another 20 to 25 wheel torque out of the car and about another 12 wheel horsepower. Um, again, even with those gains, there is a, a slight shift to about two or 300 RPM to the right of the power band, uh, as to be expected with any un unequal length header. James here is gonna tell you about the install and how that went. So for the install, um, I would give it two and a half vapes out of five. Um, there's some easy parts to it, some difficult parts. Um, you can remove the header without removing the turbo. Um, you will have to replace the exhaust studs. Would like to see a little bit of change on the uh, shape of the header uh, as far as uh, getting to the manifold, but it's an easy revision change. Um, super excited about it and we'll definitely be installing more in the future. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure they said this is like a prototype anyways. So uh, I'm sure JD's gonna make the changes required. Uh, all in all, for an unequal length, I am pretty pleasantly surprised with it. Um, I will not be the first to tout that I am a fan of unequal length headers. Uh, but after having it on my car, not really telling much transient boost response or transient difference period, uh, and actually producing more wheel horsepower, uh, I'm not completely opposed to it. Plus it sounds actually pretty good, so. The V2 headers are currently available for pre-order on our website. The final design may be different after we make some improvements, but you'll still get that Subaru rumble. Product link in the description below. Okay, some final thoughts on the uh, JD, JD, fuck you. <laughs> I almost said JDM muscle.